Dijkstra. The individual masquerading as Siggy Bruven was in fact none other than Sigismund Dijkstra, the former head of Redanian intelligence, and a man Geralt and I had had many dealings with in the past. He had fallen out of King Radovid's favor, and nothing had been heard of him for many years. Now it seemed he had finally decided to emerge from the shadows, but instead of returning to high political rankling, he dove deep into the criminal underground, and quickly surfaced as one of its leading figures. Though he did not show it, in his own way Dijkstra respected Geralt, even though the very thought of their last meeting brought a pained grimace to his face. The two had found themselves standing in each other's way during the coup on Thanet Island. The stalemate was quickly broken when Geralt summarily broke Dijkstra's leg. Well aware of Geralt's extraordinary talents, Dijkstra asked him to help find his stolen treasure. Though Geralt knew the identity of the criminal mastermind responsible, he decided not to divulge this information and set about investigating as if the case were a complete mystery. Though the witcher's lips remained tightly sealed regarding my role in the treasure heist, Dijkstra still sniffed out his dishonesty and made it clear how much he disliked being played for a fool. Though Dijkstra did not aid the persecuted mages out of the goodness of his heart, Triss appreciated his support all the same, for it proved vital to the endeavor's success. Dijkstra opposed the mage hunt sweeping the city, but for Philippa Eilhart he was willing to make an exception. He had never forgiven his one-time friend for betraying and then trying to kill him. Unfortunately, Geralt needed Philippa alive and knew how to free her. Though Dijkstra craved vengeance, he was willing to resign from his plans in return for valuable information. Anyone who thought Dijkstra had broken all ties with the world of political schemers and plotters was sorely mistaken. His great comeback was to be a patriotic act that would free Redania from the rule of a madman, the assassination of King Radovid. As an experienced dragon slayer once commented, more than once, heads have only rolled after the dragon's been slain, the mead broke out and the campfire lit, for when it comes time to share the treasure, hunters of beasts often become slayers of men instead. Such was the case after the assassination of Radovid, when Dijkstra tried to renege on the terms of their arrangement and do away with Toller and Vernon. Dijkstra counted on Geralt maintaining witcher neutrality in this matter, a miscalculation which cost him his life.